This is the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 5th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth of Longmont Public Media. I'm at point parts unknown today, so you don't get to see my face. This week we have the last quarter moon coming on Tuesday. You won't see it in the evening sky at all. It's rising at midnight. Let's take a look at our drought roundup. Take a look at the last month and the evolution of the low water conditions across the state. Going back to June 25th, we have pretty severe drought in the southern counties, nothing bad in the northern counties. And as we move forward week by week, you can see drought conditions are getting a little worse across the northern parts of the state. Persistent training thunderstorms have caused uh, some relief down here south of Colorado Springs, around Pueblo, and down in the southwestern part of the state. Looking at the nation as a whole, the region of worsening drought are the western and southwest states from west Texas up to Colorado, up into Washington and Oregon. Rainfall for the last week since we last met, you can see from Fort Collins down to Longmont, about a half inch to an inch in the mountains up above. Some places got a lucky two to three inches, the same above Castle Rock in the higher foothills. The picture this week is that we are transitioning out of a monsoon thunderstorm pattern and back into some good solid dry summer. You can see the moisture in the mid levels of the atmosphere coming from the Gulf, primarily some from the tropics down around Baja, are having to make a longer and longer trip to get to Colorado. At the surface, we still have a really good fetch of moisture crawling up towards us. Out west, you can see the dry air that will eventually be moving its way. This is the surface wind flow, this is showing the fetch of moisture from the Gulf across Texas, Oklahoma, and right into the eastern plains of Colorado. And looking aloft, this is the ridge in the west. This is going to be slowly moving eastward. And still see how the moisture is able to get around the high pressure center around El Paso. And then at the surface, we have the moisture flow coming in. Those combined are giving us a marginal risk of severe weather in the higher mountains and a slight risk right down I-25 and across all of eastern uh, Colorado. Rainfall, though, according to the GFS over the next day, pretty minimal. This particular run with the big thunderstorm right over the uh, Castle Rock and Palmer Divide area, and around Fort Collins and the hills above get a little extra rain, but most of the state is missing out. Wednesday, the situation is still set up the same. We get the moisture at the surface. We have a trough out west on the other side of the ridge, and that is giving us our marginal risk right down to I-25 and a slight risk in northeast Colorado. The primary threat of severe weather will be large hail, especially in the flight risk area, and damaging thunderstorm winds. The out will be pretty widely scattered. We also have smoke to deal with. There are some fires now in Southern California and down in New Mexico, and a little bit of fire activity in northeast Arizona. All that's putting smoke and particulate up into the western ridge. Kind of circulating around with that high pressure center down in New Mexico. Over the next five days, the rainfall is all confined to areas east of the Continental Divide. Looking out 10 days, you can see our normal high temperature line here. We, we shave off one more degree of normal high and the thing with the low. And the temperatures are definitely skewed to be above average for most of this time period. And looking at the ensemble precipitation, it's not much. There's maybe 10 days out. It starts to see some shower activity, but there isn't much once we get past Wednesday. The reason it gets so dry is that the 
high pressure system here over Texas is now grown and you can see the ridge goes up into the Great Lakes and then there's a lobe of the ridge going out towards California. The moisture at the mid-levels need needs to go all the way across and up across Arizona there and the surface moisture is now being shunted off into Kansas and beyond. So we are left high and dry with a big ridge with gently sinking air and warming to above normal temperatures. There's the surface moisture flow for the weekend. Looking out the next five days, we start off really in normal with pretty good thunderstorm chances on Wednesday. And then the dry out hits and we get up almost to 100 degrees on Friday, Saturday, not too far away. And we see a little cool down in the distant next week. For more local news, take a look at the longmontleader.com and for frequent weather updates, I post there very regularly. longmontleader.com. This has been John Ensworth, Chief Meteorologist for Longmont Public Media. Keep looking up.